Um, so what, this is a project that we originally built uh, at the hackathon here back in November, I think it was. Um, it started as just a proof of concept, slowly been building into a little bit more and more as I have my free time. Um, I have a five month old, so I don't have a lot of free time. Um, and then router plugged in. And then laptop plugged in. Um, but essentially what it is, is it, it is a very rough um, prototype of a music generation experience where you can add music into the space around you. And as you move and explore around it, the audio that you're hearing will naturally change depending on the position in the room and what you're looking at and, uh, and what you're seeing. So is the router on? Okay. Oh, it can't, all right, that's fine. Um, beam secure, connect, and then that's up there. Um, just adding some clips. The iron, the hilarity of watching people on in AR when you're not interacting with a crowd is kind of interesting. Um, so, all right, mixed reality. Are you gonna work? And connect you. Connect this to Beam Scott is on there. All right. Get that loaded. Advance. So, um, all right, cool, that looks like it's working. Uh, so what Soundscape is, exactly as I said, is an experience in sound in a whole new reality. Um, everyone thinks of AR right now, and they look at it and they see visuals, and that's, they think that's how the only way we're connecting with it. A lot of the questions asked about, asks about the HoloLens tends to be around the focal range and all that stuff. What people always tend to miss is the fact that the audio in this device and what, um, in the way that we perceive the world tends to be a lot more um, engaging. Um, so what I was attempting to do with this is actually bring audio in as the main focal point of the, of the AR experience. Um, the Microsoft HoloLens was actually a perfect platform for it. It's mobile, I can walk all around the space in the room, and it has built-in 3D audio technology into it so that as I drop a piece of sound in a location, as I walk away from it, I will hear it as if it's in that spot. Um, so what is sound as a physical scape? What I'm attempting to do is create a format of music that relies on the user's position within the room to create and generate pieces of audio. Um, how do I do this? There are musical nodes that I can drop and, and place all around the room. Each one of them has a sound attached to it. Um, my distance from that, those nodes indicates the volume and the range of those sounds. Um, and so every sound clip that we have in here right now was generated to kind of generally blend together. So regardless of the orientation, it will make a somewhat nice sounding sound loop. Um, as I wander the environment, you will get, um, the sounds will naturally blend together and you will actually experience the a music generation based on just your location. Um, I also have in here the ability to record. So the idea being that once you lay out a soundscape, you can walk through and it is recording the audio of what the headset is hearing. So think of it that if I have a room filled, filled with a bunch of notes, if I start recording from this corner here and I walk over to that corner over there, I'm gonna get a completely different audio track than starting from this corner here and walking to that corner over there because the timing of where I walk past everything and the, the individual clips themselves will generate a completely different audio loop. Um, it is, again, still a rough prototype. Um, so to switch over to HDMI now to the live demo. Um, and let's see if we're in this. And duplicate. Anything? Going? I'm gonna try this on the lowest quality setting just so it'll play. All right, so that's going. All right, cool. 
If it kicks out, just let me know and I'll run back up here. So I have a very rough interface where I can just add some new clips in. I can do some random functions in here in terms of saving and loading in audio files and, and sound spaces. What you see in front of you are a bunch of colored nodes. Each one of them, again, has a different sound clip and audio clip associated with it. Um, I don't for you to move. So as I walk around the space, the audio that I'm hearing in these different individual bubbles, frozen again, damn it. The audio that I'm hearing in those bubbles will, again, shift and change. All right, we're gonna go even lower quality with this then. Uh, da, da, da. Realistically, it's just the audio that it's the most important part of this anyway, so. <laughs> See how that goes. So drop a new clip in here. That should start playing. So as I walk near it, it'll get louder. As I walk away from it, it gets quieter. On each one, I can adjust the range of how far of the fall off that I want it to do. So I can make a little bubble, for example, that I can't hear this until I stick my head right into the node. Obviously, there's a three second delay. So as I slide my head in here, you should start hearing it, pull it back out. So that concept is working across this room right here with all of these. Um, I'm not gonna wander too far off the stage just because obviously it tends to freeze the video. Um, but if I reach out and grab any one of those nodes that are back there that are all littering the room, so this will be a guitar loop. So what you can do is you can set up, uh, set up sound stages where there is something that is, tends to be like the, is it still going? I can't connect at the moment. Thanks, Cortana. Try again in a little bit. So you can set up a sound clip which tends to be the large parent range. It'll cover the whole room. So that'll cover everything regardless of where I walk. And then as I move inside of the other bubbles, they'll start to blend those together. So again, this is totally just an artistic piece. Um, everyone keeps asking me, so where do you want to go with this? What would you like to do with this from now on? How do you monetize this? I don't know yet. Um, what I enjoy about this is the experience of trying to just figure out what the HoloLens can do, what augmented reality brings to the table, um, and what is it that like how do we start integrating more of our senses into the way that we're perceiving the world around us and integrating that into it. Things I would love to do going forward with this would be taking in the size of the room scale and affecting the, the reverb and the effects in the audio clips um, so that as you, if you put a sound clip into a tiny room, the whole lens knows the, the range and the, the limits of that room. So can you affect and compress the sound file to actually sound like it's sitting in that room versus a large auditorium where there'd be more echo? Um, I would love to come uh, to figure out ways to get it so that someone can come into a space and actually record an audio clip in that location and then save it out. So say I come into a spot here, I could record a little soundtrack, have that saved locally right here, then move somewhere else and play a little beat over here and start building a sound file that encompasses the room that you're walking around. Once that's all built out, you could then come over here and say, okay, let me record that. It won't record because I'm live streaming right now, but I could record that and then walk around that space. And what would export out would be a flat MP4 file that actually had a, a fixed audio track on it that's not spatial. Um, but you could, depending on how you record it and move through the room, you'd get different sound clips every single time. Um, another neat aspect that I would love to do with this would be trying to actually export this stuff out as a, as a different form of music that exists in the space. So if, for example, I, an artist came in and they created a sound clip that existed in the MIT Media Lab, they could then export that out and anyone with an app or something running on an iPhone, obviously this would have to get built, would be able to come back in and just by putting in headphones would be able to walk around the space and experience that same audio as they're moving and shifting around that space. Um, so again, totally just a toy. It started off as the hackathon, I've been slowly adding to it, but the more I play with it and the more that I show it to people, they seem to enjoy it. So it's, it's a fun little thing to keep playing around with. Um, and again, it also just kind of helps build 
uh, AR and see what we can do with it. So does anyone have any questions or comments or? Yes. In theory, yes. Obviously, with the HoloLens in its current location, in the current state, probably not. But this same concept could be applied to, for example, an iPhone with the, with the new I, the earbuds, given their, their location sensing and the, the phone. So you could adapt this concept over. So you wouldn't be able to see the visuals, but you could still have it that you could have sound that is locked into a location. So as you're running, you might be able to have it that, um, and again, you don't have to apply it to music. It could be that there are coaching steps that happen at certain points as you're moving along a route that are giving you feedback and stuff like that based on your location. Check your time, you know, oh, you gotta keep it up or you're going really, going really good, keep that pace type of stuff. So yeah, you could apply the same concept of audio in a space um, the same way that we can with visuals. So any other questions? Yes. Just wait a sec for mics. Oh. Yeah. It's less of a question, mm -hmm. uh, more just kind of I'm really impressed with the tool. I think it would be cool if you partnered up with like some music creator and had a space where they created a track where anyone could go through and walk through a different path, mm -hmm. create their own version of that person's song and export it out. That's like, that would be a real cool experience for someone, I think. No, absolutely. I think that was kind of the core of what I was trying to build with this is something that at the end of it lets people, because I'm not an audio engineer, but let someone who just enjoys music be able to kind of create stuff um, and experience it in that way and then share it out and let other people experience it as well. So, But I agree, like fin finding a way to actually hook it into a room would be amazing. Um, one concept that I had been kicking around with some coworkers at one point was if, say for you had a sample example, you had a series of Sonos speakers around an office, having it that when you create this space and it saves it out, each individual Sonos speaker knowing its location automatically adjust the volume that it's playing back of each sound clip. So without having a headset on, you're walking around a space and you're still experiencing audio from each individual sound source as if it is sitting in that location there. So there you go, yeah. <laughs> really like your demo. Uh, I'm curious, how is it mapping the 3D space around here? Does it have a 3D camera that is putting the markers in 3D uh, yeah, geospace? Yeah, so the, the HoloLens naturally has two infrared cameras or sensors on each side and an RGB camera in the middle. So each infrared sensor is, is constantly scanning every about two seconds and map, mapping each uh, the room out. It's then using the RGB camera to, to really align everything and get it all perfect. But as I drop each note down so I can grab this, oh, the, the demo stopped, but um, you can grab each individual note and move it and it will automatically lock it into place. You can give it things called uh, spatial anchors where they'll lock it into that location. So even when you turn the device off and turn it back on, everything will still stay there where it was. Um, but that is, that's all just core functionality of the HoloLens itself, which is why I chose this as the platform to kind of build on, so. Thanks. Anyone else? All right, thank you. My name is Scott Niedlich. Um, I'm a creative technologist and I hope you enjoyed it.